Open my window up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out. Select, making sure Snap to Grid is on, I'm going to select this whole section. Hit Command C, select here, go to Edit, and Paste. Notice how it pastes the envelope. I can now do that for the rest of these. And there we go, automated reverb. Now in this case, I'm not necessarily liking what that's doing, so I'm going to actually erase this envelope. The way to do that is select this whole section here. You just hold down the mouse button, drag over, control click, and hit cut envelope. It gets rid of the whole thing. Now, if I remember correctly, I have this weird breakdown that occurs right here in my melody. So what I think I'm going to do is actually only raise the reverb on the snare for that section. So I'm going to open the control to be wetter only during this breakdown. So now if I open up all the channels, here's what I get. So for that breakdown, it really opens up that section of the song and gives it a little more space, which is good because in that situation, you have so many instruments on top of each other, creating so many notes in sequence that it's easy to muddy up that section of the song. So by making the snare a little bit wider when it hits, that creates more space in the environment during that section of the song. Again, I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com. This has been the Master Verb LE and the Drum Racks in Ableton Live 7 using the software that came with the PreSonus Fire Studio project. In our next video, we're going to take a look at slicing and dicing using the new slice to MIDI function for audio files. I'm Bill Holland, and this is GearWire.com.